What's happening guys? It's Steve here, Cars with Steve, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Ford F-150. Now this video is going to be very different than videos I've done in the past. I don't have a 2021 F-150 in front of me. So we're going to be looking in the Ford reveal video and we're going to be breaking it down from there. So starting off, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love the color choice that they decided to go with here. It's that nice, beautiful blue. Now, one thing to note is that it has gone from what's known as blue jeans into a new paint color. So it's going to be called antimatter blue as of the 2021 F-150. It looks incredibly stunning. They've done a complete redesign of the F-150 and this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Now, there are a ton of things that are new in the vehicle, and this video is exactly for that reason. We're going to be br breaking down and diving into what's new in the 2021. So first off, we've got zone lighting. It essentially gives you a 360 degree view lighting of the vehicles. Really, really helpful if you're loading things up at night or if you're doing any kind of nighttime work in the truck. It's a really, really great idea. From there, also a brilliant idea from Ford is the tailgate workstation. So this is an option on the tailgate itself. It gives you a little work area in order for you to do things in the back. So you can use it as a cutting station, things like that. So it's a great idea. The big one here is the Pro Power on board as well. Now this is something that's only going to be available if you look at the Power Boost engine. It essentially has a generator built into the vehicle, but it can power. Like if you're looking at this, it's incredible what this thing's going to be able to power and this is all going to be from the truck directly so you can use your truck as a mobile generator you can power appliances like a table saw all the way up to an arc welder you can power tvs it's incredible there is the ability to get three power outputs you've got a 2 kilowatt a 2.4 kilowatt or a 7.2 kilowatt generator available in different engines take a peek to see what's available as a default you're going to have a 120 volt adapter with the ability to add up to a 240 40 volt outlet it's pretty cool now on the inside of this thing they've done an amazing job now we are looking at the limited version of the vehicle so it's going to have a little bit more but let's look at what's new on the inside firstly is going to be sync 4 and look at that infotainment screen like that itself is absolutely mind-blowing i love love what they've done with it they've gone bigger but it looks incredible one of the good things is apple carplay is now available wirelessly so you don't have to plug in anymore over the air updates are now available and the maps can now be updated automatically which is one of the biggest pains in ford vehicles is you had to do it yourself you had to either get the service rep or you had to manually update it yourself so that was a little bit of a pain and then maintenance is now predictive which is a really cool feature that they've introduced from there the interior work surface so in certain trim levels of the vehicle you'll have the ability to fold down that gear shifter and then it essentially hides away and you've got the ability to pull part of the console flat so you've got a workstation to use inside so there's no more awkwardly trying to use your you know, your steering wheel or bending over sideways and trying to do that so it's a brilliant idea I'm not sure why it took so long to come up with this idea but it's a fantastic improvement but look it it looks incredible. Now, one thing to note, the screen that we're looking at, it is a 12 inch productivity screen. And that's something that's gonna be different. Along with these max reclined seats, which are gonna be available in the King Ranch edition of the vehicle or above. But it's incredible, really, really useful if you do tend to work longer days in your truck and you wanna really relax for a minute or an hour or so in between your jobs. So it's a great idea by Ford to include these things. Now, one thing to note, it most likely will only be available in the full Super Crew. You're just not gonna be able to get that in the Super Cab and definitely not in the regular cab. Likewise with this feature here, so this interior storage option. So this is something that's going to be available in the truck again, most likely only in the Super Crew, I believe. It, Super Cab, it'll be tight to get it back there, but the Super Crew for sure. One thing is that it is fully lockable, so you will have added security by having that as an option as well. And then it's also going to extend the full width of the rear seat. So you've got a ton of option for storage, and it's amazing because it is lockable. 
Now, a couple other things. The Pro Trailer Backup Assist is then there again, as always. However, it now has Reverse Guidance System. When that really became apparent in the Super Duty line, so a series of cameras that's positioned around the truck. And where that comes into play is it really helps you with graphics, letting you know which way you should crank that steering wheel or the Pro Backup Assist in order to help you back that trailer up. So it's a great idea from Ford to include that in the F-150 lineup now. Also on the interior here, there's been a ton of upgrades. So we're looking at the 2020, uh, now the 21. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the differences there, but there are quite a few of them. So starting off, let's take a peek here, left side versus right side, 2020 versus 2021. Pro Backup Assist in the 2021 has moved, so it's dropped. It's actually been pulled up a little bit and moved over. The integrated brake controller, same thing. So they've moved that up just a little bit, a couple inches to make it a little bit more convenient if you need to use that knob. And from here, we've got the, tr the selector to go between either a 4x2 or a 4x4 mode. A couple things, they've made it from a selector switch into a push button. I love the look of it. It looks really neat, along with the look of this element of the console here it's incredible they've taken that that display and they've essentially made it really really simple they've taken away some extras they've added in a few other things and they just streamlined it and made it look really really sharp in comparison from here off to the right hand side a little bit as you can see we've now got a few things that are separated so inside of that would typically be the inverter so the traditional wall outlet and the cigarette lighter adapter and then number six, so looking here, we've got that Sync 4 screen. So in the 2020, it's an 8-inch productivity screen. In the 2021, you've got the option for a 12-inch screen instead. So it's big, it's beautiful, gives you a ton of things that you've got. You've got a bigger screen, which is going to give you a little bit more flexibility with what you can see. It's really neat. There are still a lot of new safety features. One of the interesting ones is Active Drive Assist, which is the ability to drive with your hands off the steering wheel. Where that comes into play is it's very different from vehicles that have it. Things like the Tesla, where you have to have your hands on the wheel. With the Ford F-150 2021, your hands can be off the wheel. There is a camera inside that's going to look at your eyes to make sure you're actively paying attention. But to be able to drive hands-free, I think is an incredible feature. So. One of the next ones, Intersection Assist. <laughs> Intersection Assist is another safety feature, but what the vehicle will do is it's going to watch for oncoming traffic as you're turning left. And if it recognizes there's a potential collision, it's gonna do active braking. So it's going to assist you in the brake and it, braking and it's going to brake for you. Intelligent Cruise Control is a step above the adaptive cruise. It was originally introduced in the Lincoln lineup of vehicles, but for the 2021 F-150, they've included it there as well. The, adapt, the Intelligent Cruise, I should say, is based off of speed sign recognition so it's automatically going to adjust your speed based off of the speed sign that is currently on the road that you're traveling on so again just one of those extra safety features that Ford's included here We've got a ton of different configuration options, starting off with the regular cab, as always, should have the XL, the XLT, and the 6.5, and the 8-foot box. The Super Cab, the XL, XLT, and the Lariat, again, either that 6.5 or the 8-foot box option. And then from here, we're going to have our Super Cruise. So Super Crew, we've got available in either the XL, the XLT, the Lariat, the King Ranch, the Platinum, or the Limited. So either in a five and a half or in a six foot, a six and a half foot box, with the exception of the Limited, that only comes in a five and a half foot box. Now, having said that, these are all hypotheticals. And the reason why I say that is because Ford hasn't officially announced what vehicles are going to be available in which box sizes as of yet. I am going based off of the 2020 models, but going based off of Ford's predictability, it should be the same options for box size availability, looking at the 2021s instead. It's really, really neat. They look great as always. So again, it really depends on what are your needs for the vehicle. There are a number of different engine choices that are available. As always, we've got the 3.3 liter V6, 290 horsepower, 265 pounds of torque. Maximum towing capacity on this thing is 7,700 pounds. Now that is based on a very specific vehicle, but you can go max towing in that 4x2 regular cab in either the 6.5 or the 8 foot box, as long as you've got the 3.73 axle ratio in the vehicle. 
From here, we've got a 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. So this engine itself is 325 horsepower, 400 pounds of torque. Depending on how you have it configured, that's going to determine your maximum towing. Now, one thing about this engine is that there are a number of different configurations to get that 9,000 pound max towing. So a couple of the examples there, four by four regular cab, eight foot box, four by two, eight foot box. So a number of different configurations there. 5 liter V8, 395 horsepower, 400 pounds of torque. This is a naturally aspirated engine, so a non turboed engine. Max towing capacity of 11,500 pounds in it. In order to get that towing capacity, a couple things. You need to be in the 4x4 Super Crew, 6.5 foot box with the 3.73 axle ratio. One other thing to point out is that you should also have the 20 inch tires in order to give you that max towing power. From here, we've got the three liter turbo diesel, gives you 250 horsepower, 440 pounds of torque. That is huge. Now, max towing on this thing is 11,500 pounds for this specific engine. In order to be able to get that max towing power, you need to make sure that you've configured it for a four x two super cab with the six and a half foot box and the 3.73 axle ratio. So again, you can go max towing capacity of that 11.5. 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. So this is a twin turbo EcoBoost engine, 375 horsepower, 470 pounds of torque, max towing up to 13,200 pounds. That is insane in a regular truck. The F-150 without having to go to the Super Duty can pull a ton of weight. Now, in order to get that max towing though, you need the four x two Super Crew, six and a half foot box, 3.73 axle ratio. This next engine here was only available on either the Limited or the Raptor. So it is a V6 EcoBoost high output engine, 450 horsepower, 510 pounds of torque. That's going to be available either on the Raptor or the 4x4 Super Crew 5.5 foot box with the 3.55 axle ratio. And the reason why that is, is because when you get into the Raptor and in the Limited, it is set for the axle ratio there. You don't have the option to look at different choices there. Now this next engine is exciting. This is Ford's new power boost engine. And the reason why it's exciting is because of the power in this thing. Now, they haven't officially announced what the power is going to be, anticipating potentially somewhere along what the 3.5 liter is right now. So somewhere in that 375 horsepower, 470 pounds of torque, roughly. It hasn't been officially announced as of yet. However, we do know that you can get up to 12,000 pound towing capacity with the new 3.5 liter power boost engine. Because one of the benefits of this thing, it is a hybrid engine. So it also does give you a 35 kilowatt electric motor. Now, one thing that I didn't point out, so what is happening with the Raptor? And the reason why I asked this, look at this part of the video. So we go all the way up to the limited, but it stops before it hits the Raptor. So my question is, is the Raptor going to be around as of 2021? I have no idea. So we have to wait a couple more months to find out if Ford's bringing that Raptor lineup back. We do have a ton of options when it comes to the color choices of the vehicle. Few new colors, few old colors, some of the old favorites. Starting off here, let's take a peek. And we're gonna start off with our Gate Black. So our regular black, deep black there. It does, it looks sharp. Now one thing to point out, it is a little bit harder to keep those darker color vehicles clean. Carbonized gray has replaced the magnetic. We've got stone gray from there. Looks really sharp, okay. Iconic silver, and that's carried over from the 2020 lineup. Space white has replaced the platinum white that was available. So again, it's gonna be that same, the tri-color, tri tri-finish paint with that magnetic paint fleck in there. Oxford white is our traditional work truck white. Guard is new, so it's essentially, I believe, replaced the magma, which was like a purple kind of color. They've gone green here. We've got our regular race red paint as well as our darker rapid red. So that nicer, darker color instead of that very, very bright one. Again, it's a matter of personal preference. And then we get into our blues. So they brought the Velocity Blue paint back again this year. Makes sense, it's a popular color. But what they've done is they've tweaked the blue, the that dark blue, which was the blue jeans, it's now antimatter blue. And I love the look of what they've done with this thing. So at the end of the day, the question really comes down to, do I need to upgrade? 
that's a really good question. If you're in an older F-150, it would make sense because look, it's got a brand new optional digital dash. They've completely redone the interior of the vehicle. It looks really sharp, really stunning. These reclining seats are an incredible touch in those King Rancher higher trim levels, but this thing does look incredible. They've done a great job at the rebrand, great job with the redesign of the vehicle. I love what they've done with it. So if you're contemplating an F-150, if you've never owned an F-150 before, now is a really good time to take a peek. Now, I say now, but I, what I should say is in a couple months, because we're most likely going through Ford employee pricing July, August, September, and then the 2021s should be coming out fall of 2020. Again, with the pandemic, factories are a little bit behind just because everybody was shut down. So and it's unfortunate, but they are anticipating a fall 2020 release date. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little bit. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask them down below. Now, I will be updating this video as Ford releases more information about the new truck. And once we start getting them on lots, you can bet your butt I'm going to be going to different lots. I'm going to be taking a look at these trucks and going to be doing some in-depth re reviews for you. Any questions, make sure you drop them down below. Make sure that you like and subscribe as well. And the reason why is because of this. So, $10 gift card for Amazon, first come, first serve. And I'm going to be doing this, things like this on future videos. And you never know what video it's going to be. So make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell icon to ensure that you are potentially going to be the person walking away with that $10, $20, $50, maybe $100 Amazon gift card. You never know. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy, hope you, hope, yeah, hope you learned a little bit. That was weird. Well, my name is Steve. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.